My name is Daniel Quinones, and for Bricks by Bay 2018, I brought these custom brick heads. Uh, I did various things for this uh, giant display. I did some for some own Lego themes like Bionicle. I did like Jack Stone and the Monster Hunters. <laughs> I love that. That's not something you see built with brickheads very often, like yeah. Bionicle and the Jack Stone, you know, a controversial theme there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then, like, some of my personal favorites are the what's inside of brickheads. Um, it, it just kind of shows the inside of what could possibly be a brickhead. <laughs> so I did, like, a robotic one, like muscles, bones, the cardiovascular system. So those were some fun ones. Uh, I did some holiday-themed figures, like I have Buddy the Elf and some... Uh, uh, John McClane from Die Hard, and um, I have some Power Rangers, I have some like random 80s characters like Voltron and Doc Brown. Um, I did a lot of Disney characters. I did some for Pixar, for um, Mickey Mouse and Oswald. Uh, Dumbo is also one of my favorites out of the yeah. Disney set. Uh, I did a lot for Star Wars as well for the new Solo movie that came out. I did uh, four for that movie, and then a uh, few for episode five, which I was a big fan of. Uh, and then the big thing I brought was the Marvel ones. Uh, so this whole left side is pretty much all Marvel characters. This is mostly comic book. I have two rows of DC at the front, but everything else is Marvel. Okay. Uh, I did this row for Infinity War. I have a light up Iron Man. That's oh, I uh, love that. Up. Yeah. Uh, I did X-Men on the top row. I have Ant-Man there too, but <laughs> I got the X-Men. Uh, I did the Defenders from the Netflix shows, and I did a whole row for Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, one of my personal favorite uh, Marvel ones that I did was this Iron Man, because I brought this Iron Man last year, and it just kind of shows the improvement that I've had throughout the years. So I was pretty happy with that one. Uh, same thing with the Justice League. These are some of my favorites right there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, so these are so impressive. You built such a nice variety. When you sit down to, to build a new Brickheads, what's kind of your approach? Obviously, I'm sure you've got kind of a, a nice system down after doing this many. Yeah, uh, I like to get a lot of reference photos uh, for sure. And if there's any, like, a point where... They have like uh, hair that kind of like sticks over or something. Sometimes I'll just have a tile coming off their hair or I'll get these like small little bracket pieces and I'll just make it look like it, it very like tiny little bit of it comes off the hair just for it to stick out. Or even like for this, I just put the hair right on the head, like just sticking on the head. Um, Do you typically start building from the ground up or start with the top? How, how does that work? Uh, it depends. Like my light up Iron Man, I built the head first because the light is in the head. But then for characters like Iron Fist, I thought the most difficult part would be to try to attempt to do the dragon tattoo. So I started off with the body, and then I did the head. So it depends on which character. If, it, if the head seems pretty easy, I'll probably do that last. I think the hard parts I'll, I do first most of the time. Mm -hmm. And what do you have planned for the future with these? Continue to expand on the Brickheads theme into some other builds? Yes, I definitely plan on bringing a lot more X-Men next year. I want to do almost all the Star Wars characters. Um, I'm going to try to do some of the different types of clone troopers that they've made. Uh, I want to do more like ad icon-like characters. I did uh, Jeffrey the Giraffe for uh, Toys R Us. Um, and definitely a few more horror characters. I'll probably go back and update some of them. But uh, I definitely have a lot of Brickheads planned for the next uh, convention. Yeah. Well, it's a great collection you got going so far. I appreciate you bringing it out here. Thank you. Thank you.